Happy New Year, everybody. God bless you.、Um, I'm so happy、um, for. I'm just happy. I'm just in a joyous mood. Amen. So, the homework for this week is that we're going to take some time and write down every traumatic experience you have had, every occurrence that you can remember in your life. Ask the Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, reveal to me what has happened to me that I've forgotten and suppressed. But I have to address, okay? Because you have to address those soul wounds, the wounds in their soul, right? Your soul is your will, your mind, your emotions, and your intellect. And every time we get hurt, it's the soul that suffers, it's the soul that um, um, is afflicted mainly. And so <laughs> we have to address those wounds. Go to God, ask the Holy Spirit to reveal to you what has happened to you but still affects you today. What have you suppressed in your life that has to be addressed? And as He reveals that to you, write it down and ask Him, Holy Spirit, I invite you into this occurrence, into this trauma, into this abuse. Holy Spirit, forgive me and wash me in the precious blood of Jesus.、Um, cleanse me, purify me. Align me, heal me. Those deep soul wounds have to be healed. Heal me, oh Lord. And then meditate on Psalms 23, verse 3, which says, He restores my soul. He guides me through the path of righteousness for His name's sake. Amen. When our souls are hurt, hurt people hurt people. Okay? When people are hurt, they tend to project that hurt. That pain towards other people. So we have to make sure that we deal with those things that we have forgotten about. But God, who is all knowing, all powerful, all seeing, can remind you of these things. Amen. So you ask God to reveal that stuff to you. You take it to God. You let Him know how you felt. You can complain to God, y'all. Complain to God and tell Him, let Him know how you felt at that moment. And then ask him to take it away. With his strength, you can forgive. Also, write under each occurrence who is responsible for that pain, who is responsible for that trauma, who was responsible for that. Amen. And then just ask God to heal you. Amen. But again, Psalms 23, verse 3 He restores my soul, He guides me. Through the path of righteousness, that is ethical conduct, God's way of doing things. He guides me through the path of righteousness for His name is sake, for the name of God, for the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. You cannot heal, you cannot love other people if you are hurting yourself. It's really hard to love, fully love, love, genuinely love a person from a place of hurt and pain. So you have to heal. Amen. God bless you.